Hello, everybody. This is UFC Wildcat. And I'm Powder Blue Bolts. And this is our seventh installment of our Bowl Special Series. This week, we will be talking about the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl with SMU facing off against Fresno State. And everybody knows I love my Fresno State Bulldogs. Um, well, you might not have known that, but I do. Anyways, you know now. <laughs> you know now. Anyways, uh, we're going to highlight some players for the Fresno State team, and they are a very, very good offensive team, and they're good on defense, too. They're very, very underrated, if you ask me, and they're going up against a 6-6 six and six SMU team, and they're, them being 9-3, and three, it's kind of an unfair uh, advantage that they have. However, that's who they're lined up to play, so we'll just go with it. Let me just put it to you this way. Why is SMU here? It, it doesn't make a whole there, lot of sense. That's I, just... SMU is not a good team, and they snuck in. But hey, let's that's, let me put it to you. Let me put it to you this way: If you guys want to have a little something to hang your hat on, they beat the Conference USA champs. So, y- y- they did it. So I mean, maybe they I can guess. pull it out against Fresno State. Uh, uh, maybe not. Yeah. Tulsa did go ten and three, and they had a very good season. So maybe this will be a good game. But again, we'll see. We'll see. All right. For Fresno State, it all starts with their quarterback. Younger brother of NFL quarterback David Carr is Derek Carr, and this guy is a ball thrower to the max because he's got 3,700 yards on the season with 36 touchdowns. Woo! And those are some (laughs) Those are some crazy stats. stats. That is a quarterback. That is insane. That is like Brett Favre's status, like throwing the ball around, you know, making them cool passes into triple coverage, doing some crazy stuff out there. And that would be enough for a team. But who do they have? They have an amazing running game. With Robbie Rouse. He has 1,500 yards on the year, 5.5 yards per carry, and 12 touchdowns. And that just adds to Fresno State's offense, who is currently ranked number 12 as points per game and number 12 passing. So their offense is high octane, high firepower, and can hurt you in every single way. But wait, there's more! <laughs> Devontae Adams and Isaiah Burst, two amazing receivers, especially when we talk about Devontae Adams. Once he gets open, it's over. He has 1,100 yards on the season with 13 touchdowns, and Isaiah Burst is a nice complimentary uh, slot guy. He's more of a possession guy with six touchdowns and 700 yards on the season. But wait, there's even more! <laughs> Football's a game played offensively and defensively, and to their defense they have... All-American safety, Philip Thomas, coming off a, or a season-ending injury last year, comes back and leads the NCAA in, with interception with eight. And that sets a Mountain West Conference record. He's one of only two FBS players with three pick sixes on the year. Leads the team in interceptions, tackles, tackles for loss, and second on the team in sacks. And he was just named to the All-American team, and this guy is a monster. He is amazing. And he's had some games like, oh, this guy is crazy. I think he was up for the Thorpe Award, wasn't he? Was. He? he was. And against Oregon, had nine tackles, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery at Autzen Stadium against number four <sighs> Oregon. So this guy can play against uh, top competition, and he can hurt you in just about every single way. But this team, this team scares me. Yeah. They played Colorado. They put 69 points on them, and it was like 50 to like nothing at half. Yeah. It was like, what they is going them. on? This team this team makes me giddy because I'm an offensive guy, and this team is just wow on offense, and it makes me so happy. And now we're going to SMU. This team, <laughs> this team had a lot of promise. They've got June Jones, an old Hawaii coach, a gunslinging type of coach, really good, and I, I like the guy. And they had... Garrett Gilbert, a Texas transfer, as their starting quarterback, he had a decent year. He had um 2,700 yards with 14 touchdowns, but he had 13 picks on the season, you know, not really doing it, you know, kind of decent. But they also had Zach Line, who is a 1,200-yard rusher with 12 touchdowns. I mean, you got some offense there. Uh, this team just – there's nothing. There's I, I feel like there's nothing for this team. I mean – there's a good handful of games where they got blown out. They got blown out by Baylor, blown out by Texas A&M. They lost by one to two lane. They got blown out by UCF, blown out by Rice. That's, by, that's when you know you're bad. By Rice. Like, come on. Eh, I, I see nothing in this team. This team just, I, I see, I don't know. They need something. They need to play like they did against Tulsa. Or they need to play like they did against TCU where they only lost by eight. They need to do 
something crazy. Or even when they played Houston, where they won 72-42. to Like, this team needs some kind of spark. And I'm going to ask you this question. I know we could probably be here a while because there's a lot, a lot of things you could say. But what does SMU need to do to win this game? A prayer? <laughs> I don't know. Divine grace? I don't know. Something. Divine intervention. Something. I don't know. I don't see this team competing. I don't see. I don't, I don't see them being on the same field. I mean, June Jones is going back to where he coached at Hawaii. Maybe there's something. You know, maybe gets the team ready in a special way. But we can only hope. Only hope for a good game. That's all we can hope for. What is what does Fresno State have to do? Which is hopefully not a lot. Walk off the bus. Um, Something. <laughs> no. Um, they need to do what they've just done all year, which is just consistently throw the ball well, run the ball well, and play good defense. And a key for them is just if they don't turn the ball over, then they're going to win. Because if you turn the ball over and you open that window just a little bit, yeah, you maybe never know you can, what can happen. That's something. Maybe if SMU came out and got a spark somehow, got a, like a big kick return or something. Not a kiss of death. You don't want it on the first one. That's kids of death. Ask all Ohio yep, State fans. Yep. <laughs> Teddy Kin, why are you oh, doing sick. this? Why? But if they got some kind of spark somehow, like a pick six, you know, a fumble, something, maybe it'd get them a little spark to compete. Mm. But yeah, what's your prediction for the game? What do you think? Uh, if you're an SMU fan, no disrespect to you, but I just don't see you guys competing very well. How can you against this offense? They're extremely underrated. They could probably put up points against the top te- the top tier teams in the nation. Um, I just I don't really see SMU competing. They had a six and six record. It's kind of shocking they even got to go to a bowl, let alone against a nine and three Fresno State team. So I'm going to predict uh, Fresno State fifty five and SMU fourteen. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting that feeling too. I mean, out of conference they went. F- one and three with a win against Stephen F. Austin. Like really good. They're awesome. Fifty two nothing. They're awesome. I mean at least I mean the teams that they beat are really bad. They beat a Stephen F. Austin in FCS school. They beat UTEP. Meh. They beat Houston who's played horrible this year. Really bad. They beat Memphis. They beat Southern Miss, who's who's only the best team in the country. They're winless. They have zero <laughs> wins on the season. Fired their coach after one year. Just abysmal. But they got one good win against Tulsa. That's it. That's all you can put your hat on for them. If you're an SMU fan, really, no disrespect. I don't want to – I feel like I'm shitting on your program over here. It's not what I'm trying to do. It's just one of those things where, in my mind, there are too many bulls. There are too many bulls, and, you know, some of the games are really bad. This is one of them, and I feel a blowout. I feel a blowout, like – in the 50s to, like, I, I feel SMU could put on some points. Those Zach line's a pretty decent halfback. Yeah. You know, like, in the 50s, so I'm going to say, like, 56 to 10. So that pretty much pretty blowout. close to mine, yeah. Pretty close. All righty. Man, like, you know, I'm hoping we're not hounding you, but, again, if you could do us a big favor, like, comment, Subscribe and leave your comment in the section below predicting your score for this game as well. That'd be really good if we could get some debate on these games. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be really good because I know we got a lot of sports fans out there. Oh yeah, and, you know uh, it's kind of a mediocre bowl, but hey, they're getting played. Somebody's got to watch them. Tune in next time when we talk about the Little Caesars Bowl between Western Kentucky and Central Michigan. No oh, face palm, another bad bowl. <laughs> This is UFC Wildcat and Powder Blue Bolts signing out.